Hey everyone, I've got a couple new cars in the collection. First up is the Lexus LS430. This is by Ivy Models. This is the first one of their cars I've had. I feel like they're a relatively newcomer. Um, they seem to do exclusively resin. Uh, the Lexus LS430, that would make it the third generation. The first two generations were LS400s, back when the first two numbers of a car actually correlated to engine size. So that is a 4.3 liter V8. Now this in, in Japan would be known as the Toyota Celsius, I think is what's called. But here in the good old US we call it the LS430. Now this is an exclusive, no one else makes this second gener third generation Lexus. Um, so you know you're not gonna get this in opening diecast. This is sealed resin. Quality's pretty good. I do see fabric seat belts. I wish the carpeting was carpeted or properly flocked. Paint quality is pretty good. The windows, they bow a little bit. If you see the windshield at the top, it bows out just a little bit. Kind of like a BOS car does right there. Fairly typical of like BOS and sometimes autos. It's got separate chrome trim, which it's kind of like a sticker, which is not exactly perfectly applied. The wheels and tires, I think, are the biggest failing. They look kind of toyish. Um, they, they appear to be hard resin tires, not rubber. Kind of gives it kind of like a Tonka toyish look to it that I'm not really in love with. It's not the cheapest price point. Retail is about $200. It doesn't have an open mesh lower grille. I don't know if just, it doesn't really speak to be a $200 car. Um, I won this on eBay for about $105, which at that price I'm a lot less mad at it. Packaging is kind of weird. It's this cellophane wrapped window box over paper and then inside is a nice base with simulated leather. It's probably not real. And it is numbered as one of 50. This is car number 24. So nice but kind of kind of weird for packaging. Not exactly the greatest solution. Next up, proper opening die cast. This is from uh, Classic Collectibles, which is basically like Auto Art of Australia. And this is a Holden HQSS. I'm not an expert on Holdens, but remember it was under the GM umbrella up until maybe two to th two years ago. GM closed up shop, so there's no more Holden. You do have a removable spare tire, which is neat. Pretty good detail in the trunk. You have some derivative of a V8, I'm going to guess. It says a 253. I'm guessing that's 253 cubic inches, so that's a small block V8 of some kind. Probably a small block Chevy derivative. Underhood detail is very good. You do have scale hinges. So that's nice. The interior detail is very good. This does come with a crevice opening tool for obvious reasons because... I'm obviously not doing great at opening the door, but there you go. Simulated houndstooth interior. You do have carpeting in this one. You've got seat belts. Very good detail overall. The seats, seat backs go up and down. The rear doors open. Very nice, very detailed. This is the, you know, classic auto art quality, whether classic car collectibles or not, that we're used to. Very neat piece. I recently won this at a Massachusetts online auction. It's the same Massachusetts online auction I've been winning cars from on and off for like almost a year and a half now. The sad part is this came missing a windshield wiper and it was brand new in the box. Um, I know it's a long shot, but if anyone has access to a parts car, one of these, uh, any of the Holdens, probably a chrome wiper would work. Please send me a message or comment. I really would love to make this complete. This is a limited edition. One out of 1,800. This is the outer white classic collectibles box. Then you've got the inner box with proper nice model art on it. You've got an inner styro. And this is car number 1140 of 
like I said, I think 1800. Yep, 1800, car number 1140, with your certificate of authenticity. Very nice. Very happy with it. I won it for $65, which I think is a steal, but there were, you know, auction fees and shipping. And it landed for under $100, which, again, at that price, not mad at it. It's probably a two to $300 car if I actually bought it on eBay and dealt with the shipping from Australia. So two really good catches this week and a nice mix of die cast and closed resin. So that's it for this week. Everyone have a good one. Please like and subscribe.